welcome back to a new post today and let's look at the most important points that we need to keep track for the UPSC uh, preliminary examination of 2025 with regard to September 2nd. So the very first is about the National Organ and Tissue Transplant Organization now. So this is an EPICS organization under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare which is responsible for organ transplantation in the country. Organ donation, let me tell you, is regulated by the Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissues Act of 1994. The law addresses both the diseased and also the living donors uh, to donate their organs. Now, it also identifies a brain dead person in the form of a, a donor uh, of, uh, of the organ. Now this organization, National Organ and Tissue Transplantation Organization is the apex body for activities related to procurement, allotment, distribution of organs in the country and the diseased owners may donate six life-saving organs like kidneys, liver, heart, lungs, pancreas, intestine and uterus uh, transplant is also performed but it is not treated as a life-saving organ. The next important issue is about Swiss Peace Summit. Now it is an international peace summit with related with relation to Russia and the Ukraine war, formerly called as a summit on peace in Ukraine, which was held in Bergenstock Resort in Switzerland in June 2024. The conference was followed by a series of four earlier international meetings and was hosted by the Swiss, uh, Swiss uh, uh, President Voila Amherd. So, in May 2024, China and Brazil made a six-point proposal calling for an international peace conference that is recognized by both Russia and Ukraine with equal participation of all parties as well as fair discussion of a peace plan. China did not attend the weekend summit of Switzerland while Brazil sent a low-level delegation. So this is about Bergenstock which was a news and recently Ukraine has asked India to be a two uh, to uh, to sign the joint communique that was issued at Bergenstock at the end of the Swedes Peace Summit. And the next is about uh, the PLF, uh, PLFS or the Periodic Labour Force Survey. It is conducted by the Ministry of Statistics and Programme Implementation, Government of India. It is primarily used to estimate the key employment and unemployment indicators like worker population ratio, labour force participation rate, unemployment rate in a short time interval of three months to our urban, urban areas only in the current weekly status. Now, the Periodic Labour Force uh, Survey is also an estimate of employment and unemployment indicators in both the usual status as well both for rural and urban areas as well which is released annually and the next is about Yudh, Yudh, uh, Yudh Abhyas. It is an exercise between uh, India and USA, a joint military exercise Yudh, Yudh Abhyas, uh, which was held, uh, it's going to be, uh, uh, it's, be, it's being conducted in Rajasthan. The exercise is scheduled to be conducted uh, from 9th to 22nd of September this month. Exercise Yudh Abhyas has been annually being held since 2004, alternating between India and US. And this addition marks an increase in scope and complexity of the joint exercise in terms of troop strength and equipment. The Indian Army contingent comprises 600 personnel is being represented by the battalion of Rajput Regiment. Now, the US contingent consists of similar strength to be represented by the battalion of Alaska-based uh, airborne division of the US Army. Now, the aim of the joint exercise is to enhance military capability of both sides to undertake counter-terrorism operation in sub-conventional scenario uh, under the United Nations Charter. The exercise will focus on operations in semi-desert environment and Yudh Abhyas will enable both the sides to share best practices tactics, techniques and procedures of joint operations between two uh, army or uh, the militaries of the both the countries and the last one is about quad so it was during the 2017 uh, ASEAN summit all the four members that is India US Japan and Australia agreed to revive the quadrilateral dialogue which was started in 2007 by Shinzo Abe uh, who wanted to establish an Asian arc of democracy and uh, this is being touted as a, a, a ASEAN NATO by China also the uh, the the quad plus meetings are held are held with the, the regular quad members and also brazil israel new zealand south korea and vietnam and now we are going to have the quad summit in usa followed in 2025 by india so these are some of the important points that i thought i should be sharing with you for september 2nd for your upsc upcoming preliminary examination if you did please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment at the end of the video and i shall see you tomorrow in another new post for september 3rd until then it's very happy learning